Hello. Just got my prescription. I'm heading to uh, the Walmart now. I thought I'd take a walk with you. If you would like to take a walk with me. It's only going to be a short one. Oh, look at this. What are all these people doing out on the street? And same sort of stuff as me. Another person. Alright, we're on Main Street. We have to go a little bit ways past the uh, Burger King. And then I turn right. I have to think for a moment. Oh yeah, that green spot there. The scene of a large fire. The, the rumor is there was a meth lab in an apartment building. I don't know, does the tone of my voice change from when I have my, my mask up to when I have it down? There's the fuel prices around here. You know, inflation is just price gouging. The corporations are making ridiculously huge profits right now. I'm not in the habit of eating at Burger King, but I have to admit it smells good. Turn down Emma and then on to Lake. And that'll lead me right out to Walmart. Martha Walls. A nice grocery store here. Then another one took it over and shut it down because they already had several in the city and now you don't have anything except a small shop out this way until you get to Walmart. And there's also Price Chopper back where, where I started. On the third crossing we cross. I used to work in that building, the brick one across the ways. It was renovated. 
and then I retired from there. Now it's mostly apartments. Except for the first floor. Which has three small industries on it. Once a week I come this far. Use the coin laundry out here. It's still recording. One more block until we turn. There's only this many people on the on the major streets. The back streets are rather empty. I think Main Street is also a state highway. I know it extends at least as far as Endicott, which is two towns over. And it's mostly built up all along the way. See if I can cross here. Little Jeff. Oh, I got one coming. Sometimes you just take have to take the opportunity. They did a really nice job on the uh, building. It was really run down. I was amazed at how clean the floors looked after they were polished. They were black before, and then they turned wood color. And I didn't know until we were told that the walls were asbestos over block. Remember this from Wednesday's recording. But we'll turn before we get home. For many years I thought that I 
address of this building was six. I didn't know that the one had been taken away. Not that it makes any difference. buildings above it are uh, uh, numbered even lower than six. I forget what it was. But it made perfect sense that that building would be six and not 16. And maybe they're just fooling us by putting the one there. I saw this train moving on my way out. I went out on Glenwood, a quicker way to my house. Made it past the broken glass. I only need a couple of things at the grocery store. Hello. Oh, how are you Real good, how are you? Showing the family where I live. Huh? Showing the family where I live. I hope I may regard you as my internet family. And indeed my sister is free to watch this should she feel that she wanted to. My knees are so tired. I think I've only done about a mile. Take a look at the house on the next corner up. How it burned. All the charring on just that one corner where the back door used to be. You'll see it as we pass. I mean, it does look like arson to me, but I don't know anything. See the chopper now, I'm sure.
it's entirely burned inside, I think. No, I should not say entirely, because look at the uh, corner window there on the bottom. There's little stuff in there. <sighs> well, the top floor is certainly gone. There to be more trees along here. Always expanding. And there were more houses, too. Curious how similar the, t the two houses on either side of the street are. And it looks like uh, <coughs> the house on this side was connected to an identical house as is on the other side. I think this neighborhood was built in the 20s. A century old. I'm sure there was once a house here. This street gets regularly flooded. We're heading straight ahead and up that little hillside at the end. I don't know if I've ever taken you back this way. It's a way I frequently travel. Well, my street is where the fire was. I bet there had been a stairway just inside the back door. And the fire went up that stairwell. And that's how it blew out the uh, top of the house. I can't imagine I once gave serious thought to buying one of those. They're only good in good weather. Now here too I expect there once was a house. gate is almost always left open. This is where I usually get my groceries. Because it's close. Like the price chopper, I think it's like three quarters of a mile. And uh, using the back way here, it's even closer. <sighs> Gotta be careful here. I've fallen several times.
clearly they made no provision for people to take the back way. Aside from leaving the back gate open. And there's the tracks. Frequently you can see freight trains on there. No passenger trains. Have to go up to Syracuse for that. But I am about done. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, never forget to always remember every time notification bell rings, the old man gets his wings and you get to see more of my videos. So give me a big thumbs up, hit the red button, and after you subscribe, ring a ding a ling a little bell. Bye.